So last month while living in Tokyo, I spent an evening exploring around Ueno and Akihabara and checking out all the used camera stores around there. Actually ended up finding a about a thousand yen, ten dollar Canadian old FD Canon lens. And since I have an FD adapter for my Fujifilm camera, I decided to buy it even though there was um, some obvious fungus and dirt in the lens. So this video is <laughs> the adventure of taking the uh, lens apart and then trying to put it back together and then ultimately the final result, which uh, I'll explain about more in the end of the video. Yes. I see a screw, take out the screw and hopefully it'll do something. Oh, that just came off. So I can really see now that the, um, the dirt is behind the aperture blades. So that seems like it'll be very difficult to get to. I don't know what that did, what I just did. It's really surprising that it doesn't crack because it's like ancient look. Oh, that's uh, that's gonna strip it if I'm not more careful. That's the one. It's triple zero. Wait, this one's the screw is just really freaking tight. Hmm. The thing is, it's like, what is? What is it doing? What is what it doing? Was it holding in? Yeah. Because the thing is, until that ring is off, we can't really. Oh, I guess we can take these out. like figure out what little things will come you can pull off and pull out all the screws are arranged here okay i'm gonna try and shove it up yay come on come on yes come on come on come on oh i think it's just literally it's just the thing that was holding this in place there's a trough there there's the guideway thing i remember on the other lens mm -hmm. I, I was able to like slide one of these down and there was screws underneath it. Plastic. It looks like it's, it's all not plastic, plastic yeah, but it's all but plastic. It's all plastic. It looks like it's all like metal or something, but yeah, it's literally plastic. It just comes right off. And then there's screws under there. On the front. Break, yeah. yes. Okay, cool. Little secrets. <laughs> Little secrets. So definitely the piece of glass that I want to access is behind all of this stuff. Yeah. Everything else is very clean other than this. Mm-hmm. Push down really hard. Yeah. Why do the other ones come out easy, but not this one? Yeah, probably because like as you loosen those ones. It... Oh, I so see. literally this whole thing, I got it out by just rotating this front element, like literally putting my finger 
and rotating it. So Brandon's trying to take that one apart because there's a little bit of fungus on that one. So let's try and uh, let's try and do this one. I don't know. It just doesn't quite reach in there, unfortunately. This is the screw for the inside thing. The one single one. The one single that one. came out after this thing. There's three, isn't there? There's just one. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you... I'm a dingo. <laughs> Oh, it feels like this is moving now. Look, this just came, came out. One of the rail things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these rail things just pop out. <laughs> this is going to take the whole thing on the inside apart. I guess I should take that out, too. Back in, kind of. All right. <laughs> this is so complicated. Where's the other screw go? I just unscrewed like the thing that holds Whoa. that thing in. All right. Oh, this comes out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Whoa! So that comes out just like that. I said carefully remove the spring. And then. This is the lens that we cleaned. It's looking pretty good. I think stuff like that will have really minimal. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. This goes, it just snaps on. Yeah, it's pretty, um... There we go. Oh, that was easy. It was really hard to get off. <laughs> I can only imagine. And this goes under that. Okay, so let's check out the condition of this guy. Except that way. Okay, so there's a little bit of dried water marks on it now because I didn't properly clean it off after I cleaned it. And I can actually see where the mold was. Oh yeah. Slash. I think that's what it that's what I'm saying. There is uh this thing the hard thing is this goes under that, kind of pushes it up away from the aperture, I guess. I guess it's just like a little gasket or a little washer. Mm -hmm. to create some space. And I just drop this in. Now we're going to dive into basically um, some stuff with kind of how we're going to represent our vectors can translate perfectly to our four space, our five space and n space how how easy it is to work with with vectors in r3 space Result. there we go not too that color um we're going to go green simply a review of something that we already know so we have the equilibrium we have the resultant and then meaning state intervention how the heck do i put this together but not feel quite as confident as i do now but I feel pretty confident about what we're about to do now. So, all right. So we're putting this thing back in. Whoa, goodbye. Goodbye, light. Goodbye, light. Quite exactly which way this goes in is another question. Oh, hey, that went in. And then we'll put... Uh, like once, once, it, once we know it's working well, then we can take the ring off. Super glue it, put it back on. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Looks clean to me. 
Yeah, but it goes like that. There. Now that's in. And so those should move now when I zoom, I think. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Oh, oh. So I didn't videotape it, but I just put this piece back in and the little metal ring around it, and then I snapped this top bad boy on. I think it's time to put in the front element. Ah! Right? I just don't see any reason not to at this point. Yep. So then this should just rotate in. These two things. Oh. I'm not seeing that. Let me take this lens out again. So I just align it on the right spot. I should see nice little screw holes. Right? Yep. Come on. Time to get a snack. All right. We've put this ring inside the lens. Now we shall continue. Um, this is like kind of a dream for me, like taking apart a lens and fixing it myself. Yeah. So I just found out a cool thing. This is literally how the aperture is clicky. There's a little bouncy spring on the aperture ring here. And this bouncy spring runs along this little track here. And there's a soft, uh, not a soft, there's a flat part here. And then there's a single click at the end here. And that click is for the A, the aperture auto mode on this lens. That screw is not working. I'll just take a second. To well, I didn't, I didn't get a video of it, but Brandon just glued, put some super glue under there and under there. <laughs> kind yeah. of on the side of there. Well, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Kind of gross, but. But yeah, the it lens is, uh, is together. All right, we're coming up on the last stages here. So I just got the lens mounted on the camera again and adjusted the, um, the positioning of this thing. So let's uh, let's try it out. Something's wrong for sure. <laughs> it's not focusing uh, for a 35. It... M who? Murtat. That's so cool. Why are all the names so much better in Arabic? I saw this picture and it was showing all the Arabic names. Well, not all. <laughs> it showed a few examples. <laughs> And then it showed, it showed, like, a few basic English names. And it showed the meaning. And all the Arabic names were, like, ultimate, like, like, the coolest names. It was, like, King of, like, King of Snakes or something. Or, like, like, Emperor of, like, Golden Towers or something. Like, all the names were, like, like, the best. And then it was English and it was, like... Just like the most boring <laughs> King of Snakes. <laughs> So that's some test footage after putting the lens back together again. Now the issue that ended up happening with the lens was the little cogs that go into the focusing mechanism are made out of metal on the screw section and then they were wrapped with plastic. 
and on one of the teardown guides that I found online, so the guy actually took sh uh, shrink wrap and recreated those little nut nuts or washers or whatever you might want to call them. So without recreating those, the fit on the focusing cam and the uh, zooming cam is quite loose. So in the footage that I was taking for tests, I found that the focus looked really, really strange and it could be that the front element, I didn't screw it in quite properly, but you know, I could focus fine to infinity on one end of the focusing range, but then after zooming, uh, I wasn't able to focus in on infinity at the other end of the focus range. So something was definitely not right after I put the lens back together. So in the end, uh, it was a great experience. But anyways, thanks for watching the uh, video and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, take care.